Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today it's in a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 7 with my Tampa Bay Lightning historical challenge. Alright so before we get into things um, <clears throat> So, uh, those of you that have watched my channel update video that I made before I went on vacation. Uh, so, I went on vacation and I got really sick the entire time. So, yay. Um, and I am still sick and I am struggling with a fever that I can't get rid of. Um, I am pending a COVID test. Um and I know for sure that I contracted pharyngitis, uh, <clears throat> which will generate a pretty high fever and everything. So um, all that to say um, that uh, the pharyngitis shares some symptoms with COVID. So I don't know yet if I got the plague or not, so let's not go ahead and say that I'm gonna die in a couple days or anything like that. Uh, I have no plans on doing so, but I don't know. What I do know is that the fever kind of shows up randomly. I seem to be doing okay at the moment. Uh, thing is, is we are at that last video, right? That this is supposed to be the last video for Franchise Aki Manager 7. Uh, win or lose, that's the end of the challenge. Uh, and of course I want to do the video in its entirety I want to see this through but if my fever starts uh, ramping up uh, I might have to cut this in two so just you know just so you know so that's uh, that about that so we are atop of the uh, Eastern Conference uh, with four games left to play uh, we are in pretty good position. We are uh, having a really, really, really good year. We are 54, 14, and 10. Uh, we have two injuries. Bill Guerin should be back soon, and so is Martin Stryker. Stryker is on the injured reserve. I had uh, put him there. He's about to come back. They should both be ready in time for the playoffs. Now, hopefully, nobody else falls down prior to the playoffs. And let's see if we can win this thing and win this challenge. Also, one thing I forgot to say, uh, you know, that, that illness also affects my throat. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So we are facing the Buffalo Sabres first here uh, at home. Uh, Buffalo is 23, 45, and 9. They are dead last in the East, which is quite frankly, where they might end up this year as well in real life in the upcoming season. Um, so yeah, no playoffs for Buffalo. We are 1-2 and two against Buffalo this season, too, so we've been struggling against the worst team in our conference. So let's see if we can beat them here this time. All right, so Dominic Asik is going to be in net for the Sabres. We are going to go with Johan Edberg. And it's a tie, so problems beating the poor Buffalo Sabres. It's a 1-1 one -one tie to start the month. We completely outshot Buffalo 50 to 14. Michael Anzus was the first star of the game, he had an assist. Jay Pandolfo was the second star with an assist, and Sergei Ganshar was the third star with a goal. 15,049 people in attendance for the game. So Buffalo scored first in the first period. Then in the second, we had Sergei Gonchar's score from Michael Anzus, made it 1-1. And then obviously nobody scored in the third or in overtime. So 1-1 was the final score. All right, an easy one to, to describe to start the month. So Brett R is on waivers. I'm not going to pick him up. Paul Ongren tries to hang on to his job in Columbus. All right, so Paul Ongren might lose his job. Columbus is 20, 49, and 9. All right. William Davidson is satisfied with my work. Nothing better than that. Bill Guerin is fully recovered. And Strecker needs maybe a couple more days. 
All right, next game is going to be in a couple of days. We're going to be playing in Pittsburgh against the Penguins. Memorable game for Chris Pronger. Uh, playing for Ottawa. He had a goal and four assists. Yeah, that's pretty good. Against Atlanta. Uh, Terry Murray. Oh, that's probably his yearly firing here. Um, Terry Murray got fired from the Blues. Blues are 25, 45, and 10. That seems odd to fire your coach with, what, two games left in the regular season for the Blues. But it is what it is. And Pat Burns is going to be the coach over there now. And Martin Strecker is recovered, which is great news. So you go to the active roster. We're going to send down Varlamov. All right, two games in two nights, so two nights. So the first one is in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is also pretty good. They are 53, 21, and 5. Uh, however, we are 3-0 and against Pittsburgh. They are third in the East. And we have clinched the conference. Nobody can catch us now. All right, so we're sending Johan Edberg in net again. Wow, looks like we turn to Edberg for the rest of the season. Huh? Mike Rossetti is going to be in net for Pittsburgh. And we won 3-2. to two. All right, so we went to perfect 4-0 against the Stanley Cup champions, or the defending cup champions, I should say. Uh, we outshot them 33-22. to Marcus Naslund was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Ron Francis was the second star with two assists. And Boris Mironov was the third star with a goal. All right, so Marcus Naslund opened up the scoring in the first from Martin Strecker. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay at that point. Then in the second period, uh, Pittsburgh scored twice within less than two minutes to make it 2-1 Pittsburgh. But then we scored twice... Uh, before the end of the period, Boris Mironov scored from Matt Sundin and Brian Rafalski. Then Marcus Neslin scored on the power play from Martin Strecker and Bill Guerin. It was 3-2 Tampa Bay after two. And that was the final score. I said that Alex Tanguy had a, a goal check to the head penalty, but I don't see a f notification there, so I guess he's not suspended. All right, so Joel Perpich... Uh, has been put on waivers and Jason Marshall has been put on waivers as well. All right, so we are now hosting the New York Rangers. Rangers have a pretty decent record of 44, 29, and 7. That's pretty good. That's good for fifth in the East. We are 2 and 1 against the Rangers this season. All right, so. The Rangers are going to go with Michael Sutning, and we are going to go with Nikolai Abibulin with his five fires under his name. And we won 3-2 in overtime, so they made it kind of tough for us all the way to the end. Um, we outshot the Rangers 38-17 to in this one. Boris Mironov was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Alex Kovalev was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Marcus Neslin was the third star with two assists. 16,451 people in attendance for the game. Rangers scored twice in the first period, took a 2 nothing lead, but then we tied the game uh, with two goals in less than a minute. Uh, Boris Mironov scored from Marcus Neslin and Martin Straka, then Boris Mironov again from Marcus Neslin and Vili Peltanen, 2-2 two, two after one. Then there was a fight in the second period between Keith Kitschuk and Eric Kearns. Then Brian Fogarty with a nail goal check to the head. Oh my god, I have somebody that's hurt. Mikael Nylander scored the game winner in overtime. It was on the power play from Rob Blake and Matt Sundin. And we won 3-2. Oh god, I'm scared to see who's hurt to start the playoffs. Oh, phew. Nobody for Garty is suspended. That's all. He's going to miss five games. There you go. 
All right, so we have two days off before we play the last game of the season, which is going to be against the Washington Capitals in Washington. Dave Andre Chuck has produced 500 goals in his career with a goal against the Washington Capitals. Andre Chuck is 37, three star player still. Ivan Siernik is available. I am not picking him up. Yarmir Jagger extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against the Flyers. All right, last game of the season. Now, let's see. Um, yeah, we are assured of facing the Florida Panthers in the first round. No, no result here is going to change anything. So the Florida Panthers are going to be our first matchup. But first, let's play this game in Washington. We're going to go back with Nikolai Bibolin. Olaf Kozig is going to be in net for the Caps. And please, if you can hear that, excuse my neighbor's yappy dog. It, it, it annoys me more than it would an ever annoy you. I can guarantee you that. All right. So we, we won 4-2 to the last game. Sorry. Got confused there. I confused myself talking about the yappy dog. All right. So 4-2 victory to finish the season. We outshot the Caps 45-17. to Vili Peltonen was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Rob Velicevic was the second star with a goal. And Michael Anzus was the third star with an assist. So Washington scored first in the first period. It was 1-0 Washington after one. Then in the second, Marcus Neslin scored from Alex Tanguy and Sergei Gonchar. Tied at one after two. Then in the third period, Marcus Neslin scored again from Martin Strecker. Then Rob Blake from Vili Peltonen made it 3-1. Uh, Joe Thornton scored for Washington, made it 3-2, but uh, with, uh, what, 21 seconds left to go in the game, Keith Kitschuk scored from Michael Anzus and Brian Rafalski. It was a 4-2 victory. All right. Oh, Larry Murphy is suspended be right before the playoffs. He's going to miss five games. Oh, that's going to hurt Pittsburgh for even if he's 40 years old. So, yeah. All right, so let's advance some of that stuff. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, so the Art Trophy nominees were announced. It's going to be Yarmir Jagger, Mario Lemieux, or Nick Lidstrom. Vizina is going to be between Arthur's Irby, Manny Fernandez, and Nikolai Bibulin. Norris between Chris Pronger, Nick Lidstrom, and Robert Zvela, of course. Robert Zvela that I traded to Pittsburgh in that mega deal that I made with them. He did have a 74-point season. Wow. Uh, Calder is going to be between Alex Tanguay, David Leguan, and Simon Gagné. GM of the year, Brian Murray, Cliff Fletcher, and not Jesse Bonham, Glenn Sater. As usual, we are not nominated. Okay, the sell key between Dan Hynote, Keith Primo, and Theo Fleury. Lady Bing between Brendan Morrison, Brian Campbell, and Daniel Alfredson. The Mark Messi Leadership Award goes to Adam Oates, Chris Pronger, or Shane Doan. Ted Lindsay goes to Yarmir Jagger, Mario Lemieux, and Nick Lidstrom. It's always the same as the heart. Jack Adams goes to Brian Murray, Paul Maurice, or Rick Bonus. Oh wow, the Sens still have Rick Bonus as their coach. They they decided to keep him around. And Marianosa extends with San Jose at three year, for three years at one point seven six per season. All right. All right. So the now we should have the of three which is where I prefer to look at things all right so uh, in the west uh, Calgary is gonna face Detroit Edmonton is gonna play San Jose the Kings are gonna play against Colorado and Vancouver is gonna play against the Dallas Stars in the east we are facing Florida oh there's a battle of Ontario going on between Toronto and Ottawa 
Philadelphia and Pittsburgh are going to be facing off each other, and the Rangers and Islanders are facing each other. Wow, that's a lot of... Wow, it's all like regional matchups. Like we have the Florida battle there, the Ontario battle, the Pennsylvania battle, and the New York battle. That's pretty impressive that it all fell like that. So of note, the Montreal Canadiens are not in the playoffs, so of course that makes me happy, and the New, the New Jersey Devils won't be able to knock me out with a hot Martin Brodeur this year. So the I guess it's going to be somebody else's task, probably an alpha star goaltender or something. All right. <clears throat> Right, so we are about to play the Panthers. Now the Panthers went 36, 38, and 8. So yes, back then you could make the playoffs with a losing record. Not the case anymore. But back in those days it could happen. And it, that just happened with the Florida Panthers. We went 5-0 and against Florida this season. So let's take another look at their lineup. So they have Kenny Janssen, that's hurt, so that's one of their good defensemen. He's not going to be playing, that's good for us. Uh, in net, they have Jose Theodore and Masalskis, uh, Francois Beauchemin, Kevin Dean, Steve Duchesne, uh, oh God, what, uh, what was his first name? Vop, uh, Copa, oh no, it's Copat, okay, I don't know them. Uh, Shereyev, uh, Campbell, Karalati, and Rhett Warner on D. Uh, up front, they have Johnson, Carrier, Laurie, Sturm, Alto, Corbett, Daniels, Prokopiev, who's hurt, may play. Milan Kraft, Shelberg, Digman, who's unfit, Iginla, and Sundstrom. All right. All right, so of course, you know, since we finished first, we have home ice advantage. That means that we start the series at home. Jose Theodore is going to be in net for the Panthers. We are going to go with Nikolai Abibulin. And of course, go Lightning, go! This is our last shot at, at this. And we won the first game 4 to 2. All right, so good start here. A 4 2 victory on, in front of our own fans. We outshot the Panthers 31 to 18. Matson Dean was the first of the game, he had a goal and two assists. Uh, Marco Sturm was the second star with an assist, and Bill Guerin was the third star with a goal and an assist. 18,617 survolted fans in the stands for this first playoff game of this season. All right, so Bill Guerin opened up the scoring 34 seconds into the first game. It was unassisted, then... Uh, the Panthers tied the game, and then Ryan Smith gave us the lead with a goal from Sergei Gonchar and Matt Sundin. It was 2-1 Tampa Bay after one. In the second period, the Panthers tied the game, and we were tied at two heading into the third period. We also had a fight between Rob Blake and Chris Digman. And then in the third period, Matt Sundin scored what would be the game winner from Bill Guerin and Ryan Smith, and then Sergei Gonchar from Matt Sundin and Rob Blake for two victory. All right, so good start. No one could stop Mike Madano. He had a hat trick against the Canucks. All right, so let's see. Colorado beat LA. San Jose beat Edmonton. Dallas beat Vancouver. Calgary beat Detroit. Islanders beat the Rangers. We beat Florida. Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia. And the Sens beat Toronto. All right, game two is about to be played. Jose Theodore is in net still for Florida. We are still going to Nikolai Abibulin. And we won 2 nothing. so shout out for Abibulin. We outshot Florida 37 to 16. Matson Dean, yet again, the first star of the game. He had two assists. Brian Campbell was the second star despite not scoring any points. And Alex Tanagi was the third star with a goal and an assist. At 17,205 people in attendance. We're not even having a full house for playoffs where we have a. I would say a decent chance at winning the cup. That's, that's sad. 
All right, so Marta de Strecker opened up the scoring in the first. That was a power play goal from Matt Sandin and Alex Tang. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay at that point. And then in the second period, Alex Tang scored on the power play as well from Matt Sandin. It was 2-0. And that was it. Vili Peltanen is day-to-day -day with an injury. Okay, we can deal with that. Day-to-day -day is okay. So Scott Young can play, or Mikael Nylander, one of them can play. That's okay. Uh, suspension for Chris Pronger. Ooh, that's going to hurt the Sens. He's going to miss three games. Big game for Mario Lemieux. He had a goal and four assists against the Flyers. Wow. Uh, suspension over for Niminen with the Red Wings. He is back in the lineup over there. Ray Whitney got hurt uh, for the Sharks. He's going to miss three weeks with a strained abdominal muscle. And great night for Ulf Dallin. He had three goals and an assist against the Vancouver Canucks. All right, so let's see. Oh, the Kings came back here against Colorado with a 6-1 victory. Uh, San Jose beat Edmonton. Dallas beat Vancouver. Detroit beat Calgary. Islanders beat the Rangers. We beat Florida. Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia and Toronto beat Ottawa. <clears throat> All right, um, game three. We are moving on to the to Sunrise. I believe that it's in believe against Florida in their own barn or rink rather. Nikolai Abibolin is going to be in net for us. Jose Theodore in net for the Panthers. And we won 4 1. We are leading our series 3 0. We outshot Florida 47 to 17. Brian Rafalski was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Boris Mironov was the second star with a goal. Matt Sandin was the third star with a goal and an assist. Boris Mironov opened up the scoring in the first period from Matt Sandin and Bill Guerin. 1 0 Tampa Bay after 1. Then Matt Sandin scored in the second period from Marcus Neslund. 2 0 Tampa Bay after 2. Then we added two more goals in the third period. Martin Strecker from Keith Kitschuk and Alex Tangi, and then Brian Rafalski from Michael Lanzus. It was 4 0. And with just a little bit more than two minutes left to go in the third period, Patrick Shelberg prevented Ed Bibulin from getting yet another shutout. And we won 4 1. Mario Lemieux has a good game. He had a hat trick against the Flyers. Wow, he's taking care of the Flyers all by himself. Huh? That sounds about right. Oh, I forgot to look at the other scores. I'm so sorry. Vili Peltonen back sooner rather than later. All right. And we are about to play the Florida Panthers again. So if we win, we're, we're going to sweep them. All right. Abby Bullin and Theodore in net again. And it is a sweep. We won 4-2. All right, so we outshot Florida 43-23. to Bill Guerin was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Kevin Dean was the second star with an assist. And Ryan Smith was the third star with an assist as well. So Florida opened up the scoring in the first. Then Matt Sundin scored from Ryan Smith and Bill Guerin. 1-1 after 1. Then in the second period, uh, Florida scored, made it 2-1. But then we... Scored three unanswered in the third period. Bill Guerin scored from Brian Rafalski and Marcus Neslund. Then Sergei Gonchar from Scott Young. And finally, Vyacheslav Kozlov in an empty net from Peter Shaslevy and Francis Bouillon. 4-2 Tampa Bay, the final score. All right, folks. We're one quarter of the way there. Suspension over for Fogarty with the Rangers back in the lineup over there. All right, so Ellie beat Colorado, Edmonton beat San Jose, Vancouver beat Dallas, Calgary beat Detroit, Rangers beat the Islanders, Philadelphia beat Pittsburgh, and Ottawa beat Toronto. So I know for a fact that we are the only series that's over right now.
Right, Pranger suspension ends with the Sands. He is back in the lineup. Suspension over for Larry Murphy, back in the lineup as well. There you go. <clears throat> Those are important players that are being suspended. All right, so Colorado beat LA. San Jose beat Edmonton. Vancouver beat Dallas. Detroit beat Calgary. Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia. Ottawa beat Toronto. And the Rangers beat the Islanders. Right, Peltonen is fully recovered. All right, uh, Dallas beat. Sorry, Dallas beat Vancouver. LA beat Colorado. Rangers beat the Islanders. And the Flames beat Detroit. Wow, are the Flames going to cause a surprise here? Like, with that record, they probably barely made the playoffs, too. Yeah. The Rangers beat the Islanders, and Detroit beat Calgary. Okay, so uh, Rangers and Detroit goes further. So let's take a look. As usual, I want to take a look at the playoff tree. So... In the West, the Kings are going to face the Red Wings and the Stars are going to face the Sharks. We are taking on the Rangers while the uh, while Pittsburgh and Ottawa is going to face each other in the other Eastern semis. All right, so it's not going to be a, as easy against the Rangers as it was against the Florida Panthers, I wouldn't think. Oh, they do have a few injuries, too. So Mike Richter is hurt. Stefan Robida is hurt. And Chris Nielsen is hurt as well. Now, uh, Brent Cran and Sutnig are the goaltenders right now with Richter out. Uh, Eric Kearns, Fogarty, Edekin, Simander, Leach, Lesishin, Zubov, and Paul Mara on D. Uh, PJ Access on a... Uh, uh, Adam Graves, Mark Messier, Josef Marha, Jeff Cowan, Chris Ferraro, uh, Jochen Hecht, Wade Mowers, Kovalev Tapper, Prochaska, and Amante up front. Yeah, they have a little bit of a better team right now. It might be their goaltending that's, you know, we need to exploit that. So we went three and one against the Rangers this season. So we're gonna need to continue our good play against them. So Michael Sutnig is gonna be in net for the Rangers. We are going to go with Nikolai Abibulin. Go Lightning, go! And we start with a four-two victory. All right, so that's a good uh, that's a good start. Oh, that was. There was not a whole lot of defense being played in this game. Uh, we outshot the Rangers 50 to 40. That's 90 shots on goal total. That's that's a lot, folks. Marcus Neslin was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Curtis Lesishin was the second star, star with a goal. And Nikolai Abibulin was the third star with 38 saves. 19,164 people in attendance for this game. All right, so... <clears throat> Rangers scored first in the first period. It was one nothing Rangers after one. Then we scored twice in the second period. Marcus Nesson scored from Alex Tange and Tepo Numinen. Then Rob Blake from Bill Guerin and Sergei Gonchar. 2-1 to one, Tampa Bay after two. Then Alex Tange made it 3-1 to one from Marcus Nesson and Martin Strecke. Then the Rangers scored, made it 3-2. to two, But shortly after, Sergei Gonchar scored on the power play from Marcus Nesson. And it was a 4-2 victory. Memorable game for Milan Heyduk. Three goals and an assist for him against the Stars. Joel Perpich. Had a great game. Oh, wow. He cleared waivers uh, right before the end of the season and then comes back as a hero here with a four assist game against the Stars. That's a nice story. All right, so the Sharks beat Dallas. Uh, the Kings beat the Red Wings. We beat the Rangers. And Ottawa beat Pittsburgh. All right, so don't, don't really care about that. 
Alright, let's make way to game two. Michael Sutnig in net still for the Rangers. We are going with Nikolai Bibulin. Ah, we lost 6-5. I had a feeling about this one for some reason. So we lost 6-5. We outshot the Rangers 42 to 40. PJ Axelson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Matt Sundin was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Sergei Zubov was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, so 17,836 people in attendance for the game. Alex Tange scored on the power play in the first period from Matt Sandin, gave us the lead, but then the Rangers tied the game, and then Brian Rafalski gave us the lead back from Mar Boris Mironov and Marcus Neslin. It was 2-1, to one, Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second period, the Rangers scored twice, took a 3-2 lead, and then Ryan Smith tied the game from Matt Sandin and Martin Streka, but shortly after, no, not that shortly after, but before the end of the period, the Rangers scored again, made it 4-3 after two. There was a fight between Keith Kitchuk and Eric Kearns in the second period as well. Then we took the lead at the start of the third period. Matt Sundin scored from Bill Guerin and then Francis Bouillon from Mikhail Nylander and Pepo Numenon. It was 5-4, but then we allowed two more goals before the end of the period and we lost 6-5. What a crazy game. All right, so our series is tied at one. San Jose beat Dallas, they lead 2 nothing. The Kings beat Detroit, they lead 2 nothing. And Ottawa beat Pittsburgh, they lead 2 nothing. So our series is the only one that's tied at one right now. <clears throat> oh, I have to say, okay, Hall of Fame nominee. Who do I want to nominate? I mean, I don't know. There you go. I don't really care about that right now. I'm trying to win a cup. All right. Um, Siri, the series is moving to Madison Square Garden. So series tied at one. We would do good, good to win both games there to push them against the wall. So a Bibulin in net for us, a Sutnig still in net for the Rangers. Ooh, we won 5-4 in overtime. So another high scoring affair that was not an easy game. Those Rangers are giving us fits. They even outshot us 43 to 37. Sergei Gonchar was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Mark Messi was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Rob Blake was the third star with two assists. 18,006. Oh, that's, we don't care. That's at Madison Square Garden. But good for them, I guess. All right, Keith Kitschak opened up the scoring in the first from Rob Blake and Sergei Gonchar. It was a one nothing lead for the Lightning after one. Doug Waite and Bill Guerin got into a fight in the first period as well. Then in the second, the Rangers tied a game. It was tied at one after two. Wow, so that, a lot of goals scoring in the third then. So the Rangers scored in the third, made it two to one. Then we scored three unanswered goals. Matt Sundin scored his fifth short-handed from Boris Mironov and Rob Blake. Then Bill Guerin from Sergei Gonchar and Mikhail Nylander. And then Marcus Neslin scored on the power play from Sergei Gonchar and Alex Tange. 4-2 Tampa B lead. Rangers refused to go away. They managed to tie the game before the end of the period, so we went to overtime. But one minute and 50 seconds into the overtime, Michael Lanzos played the hero with his first of the playoffs from Keith Ketchuk and Bill Guerin. That was a 5-4 victory. Michael Lanzos, the hero. Oh, Nick Lidstrom is hurt. He's only day-to-day, -day, though. So Dallas won against San Jose, so that's a 2-1 to series. Detroit won, so that's a 2-1 to series as well. Ottawa is about to sweep the Pens, though. All right. All right, we can hurt the Rangers really good here with a win. Let's beat them on the road again. 
Nikolai Bibulin is going to be in net for us. Uh, Michael Sutnig is going to be in net for the Rangers. Look at that. Look at that guy. That one star goaltender with his five fires. Why is it always like that? That's so weird. And we lost 4 to 1. All right. Series is tied at 2. We outshot the Rangers 34 to 32. Jokan Esht was the first out of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Michael Sudning and his one star talent got made 33 saves and got the second star. And Sergei Zubov was the third star with an assist. Rangers opened up the scoring in the first. Then they added another goal in the second. It was 2 nothing Rangers after two. Then they made it 4 nothing, And then with a little bit more than five minutes left to go into the game, Michael Lanzus scored our first and only goal from Boris Mironov and Marcus Neslin. We lost 4-1, series tied at 2. I'm, at, I'm almost at the point that I want for uh, Mike Richter to come back from injury. More than likely, he doesn't have five fires to his name. All right, back at home to play again. Oh, I forgot to look at the other scores. I'm sorry. Let's see if the Sens sweat the pens. Nope. All right, let's play the Rangers at home. Michael Sutnig again in net for the Rangers. Nikolai Abibulin in net for us. So Sutnig keeps his five fires going. Abibulin is down to three fires now. Well, we won 6 3. And finally, Sutnig lost a fire. Thank God. All right, so 6 3 victory. So with another win, we're going to move on to the next round. Uh, we outshot the Rangers 37 to 34. They they are playing us tight in shots. There is not a lot of teams that can say they can do that. Alex Tangi was the first of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Vidi Peltonen was the second star with two goals and an assist. And Keith Ketchuk was the third star with two assists. 19,204 people in attendance for the game. Rangers open up the scoring in the first, then Vili Peltonen tied the game from Keith Ketchuk. It was tied at one after one. And in the second period, the Rangers scored, made it 2-1, but then we scored three unanswered goals. Vili Peltonen from Keith Ketchuk and Francis Bouillon. Then Sergei Gonchar from Alex Tanguy and Marcus Neslun. And finally, Alex Tanguy on the power play from Marcus Neslun and Matt Sundin. 4-2 after two. Then the Rangers added another goal in the third period, made it four it made it four three for us, but then Scott Young scored from Vyacheslav Kozlov and Vili Peltanen, and then Matt Sundin scored on the power play from Martin Strecker and Alex Tange. It was a six three victory. Now we are up three to two in our series. Uh, San Jose beat Dallas. Uh, Detroit is now up three to two in their series against the Red Wings. We are up 3-2, and Ottawa eliminated Pittsburgh. All right, so Ottawa and San Jose make it to their respective conference finals. All right, so game is at uh, Madison Square Garden. Nikolai Bibulin is going to be in net for us. Michael Sutnig is still in net for the Rangers. Come on, Lightning. You can do this. All right, we move on to the next round. We won 5-3. All right, so their one-star goaltender couldn't outplay us this time. We outshot the Rangers 44-27. Ryan Smith was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Adam Grays was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Vidi Peltonen was the third star with two assists. Marcus Neslun. Open up the scoring in the first on the power play from Martin Strecker and Matt Sundin. Then Keith Kachuk scored from Rob Blake and Vili Peltonen. 2 nothing Tampa Bay at that point. Then the Rangers scored. It was 2-1. to one. Then Marcus Nesson scored Rob, from Rob Blake and Martin Strecker. It was 3-1. to one. And then the Rangers scored again. It was 3-2 to two after 1. What an eventful first period. Then in the second period, Matt Sundin scored from Ryan Smith and Bill Guerin, made it 4-2. Then the Rangers scored, made it 4-3. Uh, 
Then finally in the third period, Boris Mironov scored from Vidi Peltanen and Ryan Smith. Nobody from the Rangers scored, believe it or not, and we won 5-3. All right, we're going to face the Sands in the Eastern Conference Final. And, oh, we're going to face the winner between Detroit and LA. That's going into a seven-game matchup here. And it's going to be the Kings. Wow, the Kings creating a little bit of an upset here. They eliminated the Red Wings, so it's going to be Ellie and San Jose in the West, so a California battle, and it's going to be the expansion cousins in the East that are going to face each other, the Ottawa Senators and the Tampa Bay Lightning facing each other here. So we still have a, a home ice advantage because we had the best record in the East, so yeah, that's not gonna be easy. The Sens have been really good uh, this season. They have Jan Ardina, that's Art, and he, he was one of their pretty good players, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 54 points in 50 games. So in net, they have Bruce Ressin and Mika Kiprusov, uh, Chris Pronger, Andre Markov, Hans Janssen, Patrick Travers, Sean Brown. Uh, Tony Ludman and Brent Sopel on D, Langen Brunner, Scaldi, Surjan, Gani, Dimitra, Graton Lang, Nikolishin, Rasmussen, Al, Salivanov, Novoseltsev, Willis, and Matt up front. All right, not going to be easy. We went 2 and 2 against Ottawa this season. It's going to be a tough matchup, but we can do it. Let's go, guys. Oh, the Suns are going with Bruce Ressin in net for that, that playoff run. Okay. Uh, he has the save percentage. That justifies it, I guess. All right, so we're going to go with Nikolai Abibulin. Come on, guys. We lost the first game in overtime. 4-3. Yikes. We outshot the Sens, 46-36. Simon Garni was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Brian Rafalski was the second star with two assists. And Andrei Nikolshin was the third star with an assist. So we had 17,287 people in attendance for the game. The Sens scored first. The, then Michael Anzo scored from Brian Rafalski. It was tied at one after one. Then Vidi Piltanen gave us the lead in the second period from Keith Kitschuk and Tepo Numenen. Then the Sens tied the game. Then the Sens took the lead in the third, but late into the third period, Bill Guerin gave us some hope with a goal that would tie the game from Brian Rafalski and Ryan Smith. Tied at three, heading into overtime. And eight minutes and 27 seconds, eight minutes, 27 seconds into the second overtime, Jimmy Langenbrunner played the hero for the Ottawa Senators and we lost 4-3. Look at look at that first overtime. All the penalties were all us. Actually actually Ottawa didn't take a single penalty minute in that game and we somehow had 30. Did you say shenanigans? I think I heard somebody say shenanigans over there in the in the crowd. All right, um, San Jose won the first game against LA 5-1. All right, so game two, we are facing the Suns again, playing at home. We're going to try to avenge game one. Bruce Resson is going to be a net sell for the Suns. We are going to go with Nikolaya Bibulin. And we won 3-1, series tied. Uh, shots were tied 32 apiece. Tipo Numenen was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Pavel Dimitro was the second star with a goal. And Alex Tangi was the third star with a goal as well. 17,467 people in attendance for this game. Bill Guerin opened up the scoring in the first. That was his fifth from Tipo Numenen and Ryan Smith. And then Alex Tangi also scored his fifth from Keith Ketchuk and Martin Strecker. 2 nothing Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second period, Ottawa scored. Then Michael Lanzo scored from Vidi Peltanen, made it 3-1 Tampa Bay after two. And that was it. We won 3-1. I don't like that I have two messages there. 
I got two injuries in the same game. So Scott Young and Francis Bouillon. I'm surprised that it's not uh, Matt Sandin and Sergey Gonchar, to be honest. But, uh, you know. All right, so let's see what happens with those guys. All right, so Bouillon is out for three weeks. And Scott Young is out for 13 days. All right, we're going to need to recall some some guys. I think I'm going to recall Brian Allen. He's more of a playoff type of defenseman at this time of the year. Varlamo of a up as usual. Alright, so a costly win. We've got two injuries. Now our depth is gonna be tested. Oh god. Oh, Brian Allen is upset that I didn't strip Sergei Gonchar of number 55. Go cry me a motherfucking river. All right. Um, we are in Ottawa to play the Sens. Um, series tied at one. I forgot to check the other series. That, that happens way too much. Uh, San Jose won again, so San Jose is up 2 nothing in their series against the Kings. All right, let's play in Ottawa against the Suns. Abby Bullin in net for us, Bruce Resson in net for the Senators. And we lost 6-4, yikes. We outshot Ottawa 36 to 28, so that was just a very bad Nikolai Abibulin game here. Jody L was the first star of the game, he had a goal and two assists. Marcus Neslin was the second star with two goals and an assist, and Robert Lang was the third star with a goal and two assists. So the Sun scored first in the first, then Ryan Smith scored from Alex Tangi and Marcus Neslin. It was tied at one, and then the Suns scored to make it 2-1 Ottawa. Then in the second period, Marcus Neslin uh, tied the game, which is fifth of the postseason from Martin Strecker. Then Sens took a 3-2 lead. And then we scored twice. Mikhail Nylander scored from Boris Mironov and Brian Rafalski. Then Marcus Neslin from Martin Strecker and Tepo Numenon. 4-3 Tampa Bay after two. And then we allowed three unanswered goals in the third period, and we lost this 6-4. So Ottawa it takes a lead in this takes the lead in the series. They lead the series two to one now. And the Kings uh, r responded to the Sharks. So the Sharks are now up two to one in their series. All right, we kind of need a win here. We kind of need a win. All right, so Abby Boleyn is going to be in net. He's down to two fires. Bruce Resson is still in net for the Suns. He's up to four fires. Oof, we won in overtime, 5-4. All right, we outshot Ottawa 48-46. to Alex Tanguy was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Patrick Travers was the second star with a goal. And Marcus Neslin was the third star with two goals and an assist. Uh, Sen scored first. Then Matt Sundin scored from Alex Tanguy and Brian Rafalski. And then the Sens took the lead before the end of the period. It was 2-1 Ottawa after one. Then in the second, we scored three unanswered goals. Alex Tanguy scored short-ended from Bill Guerin and Sergei Gonchar, then Marcus Neslin from Matt Sundin and Alex Tanguy, then Marcus Neslin uh, unassisted, 4-2, Tampa Bay after two. Then the Suns tied the game in the third period. That went to overtime. And 
And that went to a second overtime again. And our hero was Bill Guerin, scoring from Marcus Neslin and Matt Sundin. 5-4, the final score. Series tied at two, folks. We're not dead yet. And neither are the Kings. Series tied at two there as well. So we're making series out of this. All right, back at home facing the Sens. I mean, series is tied at two. We went two and two against Ottawa this season. It's pretty much... Looks like we're pretty even teams. But what annoys me again is that yet again, I'm being beat by the opposition's team playing their worst possible goalie. Like, there's no reason that Mika Kiprusov shouldn't be starting over Bruce Resson. If you go historically by who those were and you, you know, forget that you're playing a game and you try to tell somebody, yeah, I have Mika Kiprusov and Bruce Resson on my team, I'm going to go with Bruce Resson to uh, play in the Eastern Conference Final, you're going to be laughed out of the building. But, yeah... As we know, the goaltending stuff in Franchise Hockey Manager is utterly broken. We, it has been for years. They try to tell us that, oh, well, you know, goaltenders get hot and everything. Come on. Okay, there's, there's no explanation for what happens with goaltenders in this game. There's no rational explanation for that. It's broke. Fix it. Thank you. Rant over. All right, game, th uh, game five, sorry. Bruce Rassin in net for the Suns, Nikolai Abibulin in net for us. And we won 2-1 to one in overtime yet again. Wow. Oh, we played a much better game this time. We outshot the Suns 63-17. to 17. Bruce Rassin was the first star despite the loss with 61 saves. Brent Sopel was the second star with a goal, and Vyacheslav Kozlov was the third star with a goal as well. 18,158 people in attendance for the game. So Sen scored first in the first period, then Ryan Smith scored short-handed from uh, Brian Rafalski. It was tied at one. That lasted all the way to the first overtime, where late into the first uh, overtime period, Vyacheslav Kozlov played the hero from Peter Shaslevy and Nicholas Avlid. 2-1 to one, Tampa Bay victory. So now we... Oh, okay, yeah, of course, we got an injury. Vili Peltanen is hurt. It's only day-to-day, -day, though. All right. So Bouillon looks like he's doing better. Uh, Peltanen. Let's see here. Yeah, I have some spares. Right, and oh, and now the LA Kings are up 3 2 in their series against the San Jose Sharks. Okay, all right. So we are up 3 2 in the series. We are playing in Ottawa now for game six. Come on, guys, let's finish this off tonight. Nikolai Abibulin is in net for us. Bruce Resson is in net for the Sands. Go, Lightning, go. And we lost 5 2. So that's going to go to a game 7. All right, so Ottawa outshot us 35 to 23. Chris Pranger was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Robert Lang was the second star of the game with three assists. And Pavel Dimitra was the third star with two goals. <clears throat> Uh, so the Sens scored twice in the first period, and it was a 2 nothing lead for Ottawa after one. And then they made it 3 nothing in the second, and then Brian Rafalski scored from Michael Lenzus and Peter Shastlivy. 3-1, to and then Ottawa scored again, made it 4-1. to And then they made it 5-1 to one, uh, in the third period, and then Brian Rafalski scored from Alex Tanke and Marcus Neslin. 5-2 the final score, not a great game by any stretch of the Im imagination. Maybe I should maybe I should send a, a one-star goaltender in net. Oh, I forgot to check. I'm terrible. Oh, no, San Jose tied the game, so both 
conference finals are going set the distance seven games so that's kind of interesting that's kind of fun despite me being a little bit bitchy today i'm sorry i'm really sick so that probably doesn't help it makes the things that bugs me about the game irritate uh, more irritate me more than usual Those of you who followed my series last year know that I got pretty fed up with the Ryan Miller situation. That was ridiculous. And it's not any better this year. So, anyway. Alright, game 7, folks. We're playing at home. We're going to need to play our best game of the year here. Bruce Resson and Nikolai Abibulin in net for their respective teams. So, that's it. Do or die, folks. And we did. All right, so we won two to one, and we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, we outshot the uh, no, we were outshot forty-two to twenty-nine. Wow, we can say a big thank you to a Bibulin for that one. Uh, Brian Rafalski was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Uh, Ivan Novoselsev was the second star with a goal. Abibulin was the third star with forty-one saves. Sixteen thousand eight hundred and eighty-three people were in attendance for this game. So nobody scored in the first, then Marcus Neslin scored on the power play from Matt Sandin and Alex Tange, and then Brian Rafalski scored his fifth from Boris Mironov and Martin Straka. 2 nothing Tampa Bay after two. Then the Suns scored once in the third period, but we won 2-1. to one. All right, and we are going to face whoever wins game seven against the Sharks and the Kings. And it's going to be the Kings. So my friend JT Dutch, uh, uh, his favorite team is making it to, to the Stanley Cup Finals against me here in the last, my last chance to win the Stanley Cup. So please tell your team to just cave in and go away, please. All right, let's take a look at their lineup here. They have a few injuries. Oh, Zitnik is hurt. He's not going to play this get this Stanley Cup Finals, and neither is Derek Morris. Those are should be two at least very decent defensemen for them. And Mark Parrish is also hurt, not going to play. And then they have Rem Murray that's hurt, may or may not play. Wow, they have a lot of injuries. All right, so the Kings made it to the Stanley Cup Finals with, you guessed it, uh, alpha star or one star goaltender i don't know which one of the two has been playing uh, it's Rat uh, Ratislav stana or brent johnson so i don't know which one of the two we're going to be facing uh, crowley sidor seager koi visto paul laos mark and daniel markov on the yeah that d is not all that great with those two guys hurt uh, Bednar, Eloranto, Murray, Arvidsson, Karolyuk, Patrick Elia, Shubarov, Leguan, Marsha, Swanson, Pavel Bury, Bruce Gardiner, Tibbetts, Richard Zenik, and Mark Parrish. All right. Let's win the Stanley Cup and win this challenge. Oh, the Kings went 42 31 and 9 in the regular season, which is pretty good. And we went one and zero against them, so we played only we played them only once, and we did beat them. All right, Vili Peltonen might play soon. That's good. Oh, Scott Young is ready. Can I bring him back already? No, I need to wait one day, so he's gonna miss game one. All right, so the Kings are in town. Go Lightning Go. Alright, so apparently it's the half star player, that goaltender that brought them all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Ratislav Stana is an alpha star goaltender riding five fires under his name. And he's going to be facing Nikolai Abibulin. Go Lightning Go. And we lost the first game 3 to 2. Right, we outshot the Kings 34 to 23. Patrick Eliash uh, was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Vyacheslav Kozlov was the second star with two goals. 
Daniel Markov was the third star with a goal. 17,976 people in attendance for the game. Kozlov opened up the scoring in the first period from Rob Blake and Mikhail Nylander. Then the Kings scored twice. It was 2-1. to one. Early after <clears throat> one, there was a fight between Bill Guerin and Paul Laos as well. Then in the third period, Vyacheslav Kozlov tied a game from Sergei Gonchar. Then, <clears throat> then Todd Marshall scored the game winner for the Kings. 3-2, to two, we are losing the Stanley Cup Finals 1-0. All right, I'm going to try to have my throat not die on me. That, that would be terrible timing. All right, let's not forget about our friend Scott Young. He's ready to come back. That means that our friend Varlamov goes back down. All right, Peltonen is fully recovered. That's good. So we have two players now that are back from injury. And now we're about to play game two. We're down one nothing. So let's win this one. Stena is still the goaltender. Abibulin is still the goaltender. We won that one for nothing. Take that, Stena. He still has five fires. All right, so we outshot the Kings 28 to 17. Boris Mironov is the first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Brian Rafalski is the second star with an assist, and Sergei Ganchar was the third star with an assist as well. 17,007 people in attendance for the game. Vyacheslav Kozlov opened up the scoring in the first. That was his fifth from Boris Mironov and Brian Rafalski. Then Michael Lenzo scored his fifth as well from Sergei Gonchar. Then Boris Mironov scored short-handed from Matt Sandin and Scott Young. 3 nothing Tampa Bay after one. And then all the way into the third period, Alex Tangi scored, made it 4 nothing. Take that, Ellie Kings. Series tied at one. All right, now we're moving all the way to LA, where we're gonna play in California. Abby Bullen and Stana in net still, and we won four to one. We are now up two to one in the Stanley Cup final. We outshot the Kings 33 to 19. Ryan Smith was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Bill Guerin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Sergei Gonchar was the third star with two assists. King scored first in the first period. Then there was a fight between Paul Laos and Bill Guerin. And then it was one nothing all the way till the third period where we decided to score four and insert goals. So Niklas Adlid scored from Ryan Smith and Bill Guerin. Then Matt Sandin scored what would be the game winner on the power play from Sergei Gonchar and Alex Tagi. Bill Guerin scored from Ryan Smith and then Ryan Smith scored his fifth short-handed in an empty net from Mikhail Nylander and Sergei Gonchar. 4-1 the final score. And we are now up 2-1. to one. Oh god, I have to vote for the Hall of Fame. There. All right. Tampa Bay Lightning at LA Kings. Game four, Tampa Bay is up. 2-1 to one in the series. Abby Boulin and Stena still in net. And we won 3-2 in overtime. So, folks, we are one win away from finally beating that challenge. Maybe. All right. Uh, we outshot the Kings 46-17. to 17. Bill Guerin was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. David Legwand was the second star with a goal. Ryan Smith was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, uh, King scored first in the first period. Then there was a fight between Magnus Arvidsson and Bill Guerin. I guess uh, Paul Laos was not available at that time. 
Uh, then in the second period, the Kings scored again, took a 2 0 lead, but then Ryan Smith cut the lead in half from Bill Guerin and Nicholas Avlid. 2 to 1 Kings after two. Then Scott Young tied the game in the third period from Sergei Gonchar and Vyacheslav Kozlov. And then the hero in the first overtime was Bill Guerin scoring in overtime from Ryan Smith and Mikhail Nylander. We are one win away from the Stanley Cup. All right, so back at home, we're up 3-1. to one. Need I say more? All right, Stana in net for the Kings. Abby Boulin in net for us. All right, let's let's win it in front of our fans, guys. We don't want to go back to LA. That's a that's a long trip. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, we lost two to one. All right, we're still up three to two in the series. Uh, shots were tied, 34 apiece. Alexander Koroliuk was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Vyacheslav Kozlov was the second star with an assist. And Todd Marchand was the third star with an assist. 18,013 people were heartbroken. Uh, all the scoring happened in the first period. Kings took a 2 nothing lead. And then Marcus Nesloden scored his 10th from Alex Tanguy and Vyacheslav Kozlov. It was two to one, and it remained that way. We had a we had our you know daily Bill Guerin against Paul Laos fight in the third period, but that was about it. All right, so we're going to LA, and we're gonna be oh, I've been extended. Well, thank you. Right. Attempt number two to put our hands on the Stanley Cup. Playing in LA. Oh God. We're br for whatever reason we're bringing in Johan Edberg here against Retzislav Stena. Why? Why? Abby Bullen didn't play poorly in the last game. He allowed only two goals. Doesn't matter. We won the Stanley Cup. We won seven four, despite the, despite the computer trying to screw me over with goaltending again. Uh, all right. So we won the Stanley Cup. We have beaten the challenge. Uh, we won seven four. I don't even remember if I said it. Uh, we outshot the Kings 45-31 to 31 in the last game. Boris Mironov was the first star. He had two assists. Brian Rafalski was the second star with two assists. And Sergei Gonchar was the third star with two assists as well. So three defensemen for us pinched in offensively to help us win the Stanley Cup. So Marcus Neslin uh, opened up the scoring in the first from Sergei Gonchar, then Scott Young from Vyacheslav Kozlov. Then the Kings scored, it was 2-1, to one. then we scored two more, Bill Guerin from Tepo Numinen and Matt Sundin, then Rob Blake from Sergei Gonchar and Boris Mironov. Then the Kings scored, it was 4-2, Tampa Bay after one. V. Peltonen scored from Brian Rafalski and Scott Young, made it 5-2 in the after two. Then the Kings scored twice. It was 5-4. It looked dangerous, but Vili Peltonen scored his fifth from Boris Mironov, and then Ryan Smith added another one from Martin Strucker and Brian Rafalski, and it was a 7-4 victory. Billy Tibbetts and Michael Lenzos got into a fight. Yeah, we won 7-4. Oh, I still had the season in case I wouldn't have made it. All right, so Tampa Bay was the first of the 1990s expansion teams to win the Stanley Cup, doing so in their 12th season in the league. To meet the the challenge, start with the real expansion Lightning, but this time managed to win the Stanley Cup within the first decade in the league, no later than. Cool. So we were successful, folks, and I had one year uh, uh, left. I thought that uh, I thought that this was the last season, but uh, I got that wrong. I had I had a spare season, even wow. Uh, 
all right well, I got me some achievements so that's gonna look uh, it's gonna look cool on steam or something all right we won we won Francis Bouillon ready for contact good for him all right let's go ahead and make it to uh, like the the awards and everything And we did it. Sorry if I don't sound overly uh, enthusiastic. That that uh, whatever I have has been draining all of my energy, but I still wanted to put out some videos today and everything. So so I'm sorry that I won the cup and that I'm not like screaming like a little kid and everything, and you know, busting your eardrums or nothing like that. Sure, you can stay. It doesn't matter because we're done. Oh my, I have to vote for one of those two here. Let's give it to, to the good old Suresh. We won the Stanley Cup. Yeah, my my team was really strong. Yeah, look at all of that. I didn't even look at that. Like, you, usually I would have gone here in February and re-signed those players and everything, but I didn't do it because I thought it was the last season. I would still have time right now to do it, but it doesn't matter. Awards ceremony, ceremony, sorry. All right, so who won the heart? Mario Lemieux won the heart with 143 points, probably well deserved. <laughs> they gave the Connie Smite to somebody that wasn't playing on my team, of course. They gave it to Patrick Eliash. Uh, oh, we did win the Calder, so Alex Tangi was the Calder winner with 53 points. The best defenseman was Nick Lidstrom. I would not expect anybody else to win it. Dan Einout was the best defensive forward. The Vizina goes to Archer's Air Bay, so Abby Boulin didn't win it. GM of the year, Brian Murray. And uh, the Jack Adams, Brian Murray as well. All right. So that's all the same stuff. That's pretty much it, folks. Um, so this series is going to be over now. I beat the challenge and I am going to, and I alluded to that uh, in the past, I am going to take a break from Franchise Hockey Manager as a whole Um there's obviously things with the game that are kind of bugging me as you saw during this video uh, so yeah uh, i will be back whenever they release franchise key manager 8 
and I will do I will find something new to do with that and we're gonna do videos and we're gonna have fun like we have for the last two years uh, with the last two iterations of the game uh, but yeah the 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 goalie stuff is really like grinding my gears for whatever reason and it's like I said earlier it's even worse right now because I'm really sick so it's like really irritating at the moment so i'm going to take a break uh, i've been discussing with uh, one of my new uh, subscribers uh, through discord and everything and i may may as in maybe i'll take i'll take a look into it i might start a little series with east side hockey manager just for the fun of it uh, I'll see. Uh, it's been many years since I played it, so I'm not as confident with how I'm going to be uh, moving around within the game as I am with Franchise Hockey Manager. Uh, so I might need to kind of play around with it a little bit to kind of, you know, remember where the stuff is and everything because I haven't played it in four or five years. So, you know, memory forgets. Uh, but yeah, we beat the we beat the challenge. It's been tough. I think I I took a very cautious and patient approach at first. Um, so it took me kind of a while to build my team, and it also didn't help that you know I I didn't know until season three or four or something like that that. Uh, this was using recalc. Uh, had I known that from the start, I would have done a couple things differently for sure. So, yeah, uh, I think those challenges would be even more fun if they weren't running with recalc. I understand why they're doing it that way, uh, but for a real challenge, I would prefer to use the 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 franchise hockey manager engine and then you can try to tell me that all of those half star goaltenders have a shot at being really good but you know within recalc it makes no sense to have so many like goaltenders that either never played in the nhl or you know played two games as a backup their entire career come in and be so dominant it, it makes zero sense whatsoever you, I don't care if you put 25 little fire logos on the, under their name. There's absolutely nothing that you can bring to the table that's going to convince me that the goaltenders that I face the entire, uh, the entire playoffs run that I just did should have been the goaltenders that should have been in net, except for Jose Theodore from the, from the Panthers. Now, I understand the, for the Rangers, my character was hurt, but there's why would the Kings not go and try to get a better goaltender than what they had? It, it makes no sense. But anyway, again, rant over. I, I The, the goaltending stuff is needs to be fixed. But anyway, despite all that, I still had fun doing this. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I kind of need to take a little break from the game. Again, last year I did 170 videos for Franchise Hockey Manager 6. And this is what, number 71 for uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 7? Something like that. So yeah, we're talking like close to 250 videos in two years for like one game franchise and everything. I think I deserve a little break. I know some of you want for me to just pump out more franchise hockey uh, manager videos, but I, I, I just need a little break. So the way I'm looking at it, the next game should come out probably, you know, in a few months or something like that. So that gives me enough of a break that I'm going to feel refreshed about it. But yeah, so challenge accepted, challenge beaten. It wasn't easy. Uh, that was a good job of making it hard for me. Uh, but once I figured out, you know, that I, once I stopped being careful, let's just put it that way, and that I started to go get good pieces and everything through trade and everything, I already built a powerhouse, which helps because there was no salary cap. Of course, if you play in modern day era, you're not gonna have that luxury. 
All right, folks, so this is ARG tuning out for the last Franchise Hockey Manager 7 video for this uh, iteration of the game. I hope you enjoyed the entire thing, and I will see you in Franchise Hockey Manager 8 or in one of my other series if you follow other series that I, that I do on my channel. I appreciate every one of you for being there as usual. That never changed, despite me being angry at goaltenders. Even if you're a goaltender in real life, I am not upset at you. So, yeah. So, always a pleasure to do this for you guys, but I need a little break. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your summer, enjoy the game, enjoy whatever it is that you like to enjoy, and I will see you in Franchise Lucky Manager 8. Thank you.